Pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui é Roberto Alvarez para o Startup, direto da Singularity University, na Califórnia, Estados Unidos. Eu estou aqui com o Gonzalo Villarran, que é o diretor da Waira no Peru. A gente vai conversar um pouquinho sobre empreendedorismo, América Latina, no Peru, o que, que a gente tem no Brasil, como é que é a operação da Waira é, no Peru, que tipo de relações pode ter com o Brasil. Eu vou fazer isso em inglês e, como a gente tem feito nessa série de vídeos, a ideia é ter uma conversa aqui. Uh, Gonzalo, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, it's great to, to be here with you. Um, so, maybe if we could start that, you are the director for Waira in Peru. If you could maybe tell a bit on your background, the things that you've been doing in Peru, how did you get to Singularity? Okay, well, I'm actually the manager for Waira in, in Peru. I'm a uh, educational background in sociology and economy. Uh, I've been working with entrepreneurs for many years, uh, helping them develop their business plans. And then uh, I created uh, the first business angel network in Peru. Because oh. we, there was many entrepreneurs, but there were many investors. What, so, when was that? Whoa, it's, uh, that was 2009, 2010. Okay. So created that, started working with investors, started bringing, up, bringing them here to Silicon Valley so they can learn about how to invest in startups because it's uh, not just about the entrepreneurs, it's also about the investors, it's also about the ecosystem. That the needs, whole ecosystem. The whole yeah. ecosystem needs to be... That's the kind of thing that we have in Brazil, the whole ecosystem needs to be developed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, of course, the central part of the ecosystem is the entrepreneur, no? but uh, everything needs to be working So, in order to develop a good market, a good experience for entrepreneurs so they can keep failing and until they, they make the, the big success. No? Okay, so you did that and you've been basically bridging entrepreneurs and let's say the uh, entrepreneurship community in Peru with Silicon Valley and others. How did you get involved with, uh, with Wire? Um, well, Waira started in Peru about a year and a half ago, and they called me and, and, and told me if I wanted to join the team. I saw the project, it, was, it looked fantastic, and it is fantastic, it's a, it's a great project by Telefonica. Um, so I started from scratch, we, we, we started the office there, we built the office, we selected the first teams, uh, went through the first process of acceleration, uh, got two nice investments for, from our 10, 10 first startups and uh, we've run through the second generation now we're still like uh, uh, i guess in, in the talks of to get investments and now the third generation of peruvian wider startups are already in wider and how many companies do you have we've had uh, gone through 20 of them and now we've selected eight for this for this year Okay, so we in total 28 so far? Yep, yep. And what's the profile? What kinds of businesses, what kinds of technologies you are looking for? Or what, in, in a nutshell, what's happening in Peru in terms of entrepreneurship nowadays? It's growing. It, and I, we believe that Waira is like the, 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 the head of this growth. No, every, everything is coming up. No, the government is now getting involved. There's the, the Ministry of Production, they're putting funds to do like a Startup Peru, something like that. I know that uh, Brazil has done it now. We have something in Startup Peru and Waira, uh, and nine accelerators were selected in Brazil. And Waira was a part of Waira part of Brazil is one of them. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the government in Peru is also developing a program similar like that uh, to invest in uh, directly into uh, entrepreneurs and also invest in accelerators to, or the incubators that can help them manage all this deal flow of, of entrepreneurs and startups. So that has been developing in the last couple of years. And I, I, I believe it's, it's, it's part because of WIDA and uh, how it's, uh, that uh, development is pushing the ecosystem to be better since we're looking at, we, we look uh, south, Chile is doing a great job. We look north, uh, Colombia is doing a great job. We look east, and uh, we see you guys in Brazil uh, doing a fantastic job. You guys have many incubators, tons of uh, entrepreneurs, and um, and then and, but there's there's this we have this Amazon in between us, no? And uh, we should I think we should be connecting it more. Um, we know Brazil is a huge market on its own, and uh, what we tell our entrepreneurs actually is to. Uh, Focus your startup 
on the on all Latin America. Okay. So no, not only Peru. If you're gonna do an internet uh, company, there's doesn't make sense to have borders. No, well, it's the internet. That, that's why it's open. So we tell them to f focus on all the Latin on, on Latin America or Spanish speaking countries, but there's this this limit with Brazil. Maybe the language it's not that bad, but uh, we we should be getting more more cross uh, financing or more cross entrepreneurs. No. Uh, what kind of business do you have today in your portfolio? So, what kinds uh, of solutions, markets, or verticals, whatever are you, uh, okay, the companies yes. that are connected to Ireland in Peru are, well, are present? The, 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 the very first batch was more about e-commerce. Okay. Uh, since it hasn't been developed, there's uh, many different types of e-commerce that uh, okay. I guess in Brazil there's, there is, but in the rest of Latin America it hasn't been developed as well so there, there was a lot of that there was a lot of um, there was well, some applications some uh, tourism applications we, that are working really good and they have very good products uh, uh, what else we had uh, some uh, semantic analysis analysis the language analysis okay. which was pretty interesting very very research oriented uh, a lot of technology involved and uh, we have um, business to business. Uh, some of those startups are, are starting to get uh, traction. No, so business to business is, is getting big too. Okay. And lately, uh, for our selection, uh, they've been focusing on big data and uh, machine to machine. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what they're they're looking for. And we're looking for. And in this last round, uh, so those things are coming up in this last round. Yeah. Big data, machine to machine, yeah. things like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, one of the focuses of Telefonica right now is try to get uh, those kind of companies in the portfolio. Okay. Okay. And I think I personally believe that we've been always apart in Latin America in some way, in South America. I mean, Brazil was had its back towards yeah. its neighbors and vice versa. Yeah. And as you said, it doesn't make sense to think on a sometimes or in most cases on, on a new operation or internet operation as an isolated or just a limit by the boundaries uh, of a country. Yeah. Uh, what kind of thing are you doing uh, to connect in under, let's say, the wire network because you have operations in different Latin American countries, in Europe and in Mexico, etc. What are you doing to bridge entrepreneurs and maybe to leverage their capabilities and their business? For this network effect that you can have. Yeah, I think that uh, one of the biggest opportunities that WIDA can give you, know, connect to to businesses, to entrepreneurs, and to other WIDA academies in other countries, no? So all across Latin America and in Europe. So uh, we've been for the first batch we did a. Uh, we were trying to connect two and two startups, which were doing kind of similar a similar thing. Uh, they started to work together. In the end, it, it wasn't, it didn't happen. But you know, that starts to 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 grow. You no, know? so we and what we're doing now in Latin America, also in our demo days, which is the, like the graduation for every wider company. You have a Latin American demo day, or, or, well, or we, 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 you are moving towards we're that. We're moving towards that. Okay. So we started. Um, we talked to the, the the Colombia and Chile and Argentina and Peru, right? So these four countries, what we would do is like whenever we have a demo day, we invite a, a startup from each of those countries. Okay. And vice versa. No? So when they have a, a demo day, the three, there's three uh, invites from other countries to sh showcase in the, the local demo day. Okay. So I think that's, that's interesting uh, to try to get... And this is growing. And this is growing. And this is growing. Uh, I believe that for the for the Argentina one, uh, I believe there was a, even a Brazilian company uh, from Waira that went yes. that, that went there. So uh, that's uh, that, that's gonna be getting bigger, and I, I truly believe we should have a Latin America demo day. Okay, what are the differences that you you see, Gonzalo, in I mean among countries in terms of doing business, the entrepreneurship environments, and things? Hey. 
maybe uh, starting up a company in Peru is different from doing that in Brazil or in Colombia. What are the differences that you see at the moment, both in terms of opportunities, but also in terms of uh, the ecosystems, the skill sets of the entrepreneurs, etc.? Mm, okay. So what do I see? Do I, I see that there's, a, there's been more development, for example, in Brazil for like technologies for, for businesses. So that's the business to business. Business to business. No? Okay. So I think we're lagging in, in, in that in that term. No. Um, so there's an opportunity there for, for Brazilians, especially in mining, uh, agro, um, or fisheries. You know, it, okay. th th those sectors are growing, and uh, there should be some opportunities there. Um, and there defi it definitely is different to start a company in each of these countries. No. So I think that's that's. It's hindering the, 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 the development of, of startups that are across Latin America. No? Um, what else have I seen? Well, I know that the, to do a startup in Brazil, you at, at least have to, well, you must have like a local partner or someone that, that, that helps you, no? And I, I heard it's really hard to come to Brazil by yourself and, and, and do a startup over there. Is that true or? Mm, uh, I, I don't think so. I think that uh, each environment has its, let's say, specificities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but it, uh, for instance, if you want to uh, take advantage of what you have this startup Brazil program, you get it to be incorporated in Brazil. You yeah. can go to Brazil, but you're okay. But yeah. then developing the business. Yeah. Is that uh, easy? Uh, I you're... think uh, I think that each country has its yeah. uh, own processes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And that's a bridge we need to, to you know, to make it easier for, for everybody to, to be developing startups everywhere. You know? it's, it's, it should be as easy as back home. I don't know. But then, well, we have Argentina with its economics, uh, with its uh, new politics. That they don't let you get the money out. So that Argentina's being a little bit left on the side for, for all this, no? even though now they're, what they're doing is re reinvesting their own capital. No? So like mm -hmm. the guys from, um, what's it called, the eBay from Argentina, Mercado Libre? Mercado Libre. They are investing, they're, they're set up a fund yeah. to invest in Argentinian startups because they cannot get the money out of the country. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, I don't know. Uh, but I, I feel that the governments are now starting to see that entrepreneurs are the ones that create the jobs, the ones that are creating the wealth, and, this, uh, and that are creating the richness of, 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 of the economy, no? And that's, that's how it is, so that's, that's how it's being done right now. Okay, and maybe switch into the things that we are experiencing together, oh. because we are, let's say, students and colleagues here, <laughs> classmates at yeah. this uh, Singularity University program. And we, did, we just finished our robots in a workshop that we were <laughs> together. Uh, what do you take from here in terms of opportunities for new business opportunities for uh, Latin American companies? Well, there is a lot of major technology, like advanced technology that is here that hasn't been deployed there. And that's what I see uh, as a social entrepreneur or someone that's interested in, in the development, in the education or uh, poverty uh, solutions. Uh, I think that is what I, I've been seeing more. No? All the technology that is here, all the cap capabilities that are here that could be expanded to, into Latin America. And uh, I think we've been hearing that from many of the speakers. No? The technology is here, the technology will be here in two more years, we're going to be able to do this, this and that. The problem is we haven't yeah we haven't spread it around we haven't reached the the, the, the critical people no so I am taking that that as an opportunity uh, and so basically connecting with the things that are happening and being first movers for uh, let's say having uh, entrepreneurs from Latin America being the first movers in the in in their markets yeah, where the, that, the, well, the, these things that are coming coming well like most of the innovations hasn't come from Latin America. It has come from the north, usually. And what we do is replicate a business model that has been proved up here, and it goes down there. And that, that has worked. And it's an innovation because it's a market innovation. It's a new market. So you have, you're bringing a new product to a new market. You know? So that's, that's kind of innovation. You know? It's not the top innovation, but 
it, it, it serves. You know? So I think that's that's one opportunity that, that I've seen here, and that's what I'm kind of doing with my project now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you plan to embed that in your project? This is set. Well, we're we're and then the, 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 the kind of technology that I see is you know oh, what we mean here. Kind of, we're hearing about here three D printing. You know. Um, that, that, that kind of thing, and that's what, that's okay. what, that's what the project uh, will be taking down there in, uh, in the education sector. No? So not, not just okay. 3D printing, but you know, all these coding and education and uh, learn to program robots like we just open did. Open source <laughs> platforms open source. for robots, for hardware and things so like that. All yeah. that I think is, it, it should be available to all the Latin American entrepreneurs, no? And yeah. Or the kids, you know? It's, yeah. The kids are, are fantastic with this and they have the most fun and they learn the most, so. And they are eager to do new things and to learn, yeah? Yeah, yeah. To wear like little kids, big old kids here. Huh? Yeah. Big <laughs> kids like us, small kids, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but th that's how I see, uh, how I see it right now, no? That's, uh, and, and then, uh, well, all the resources uh, that we have down there, no? Uh, even natural resources or like uh, people resources. We, we, I know there's really good programmers back back home um, that can do things even better than here. Um, they just have to have uh, that that creativity or that acceptance of uh, that you have to try. Just try, try, try. Maybe you fail. Most likely you fail, but keep trying. Keep trying. That's that's the key thing. Oh, and that's. A cultural thing that they have in Silicon Valley. Oh yeah, the culture is, is failing is okay. You yeah, can even get it's a, part of the game. You gotta go, try, learn, yeah, and keep on doing. Yeah, keep on moving. Yeah, and yeah. that's some, something we haven't interiorized. Yeah, yet in Latin America. I, that's what I, I, I think. Okay, let me just let, uh, pose you a final question here. Do you see something happening in the opposite direction? I mean. Eventually, uh, we will have uh, companies from Peru, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, really, uh, I mean, the entrepreneurship in, uh, ecosystems in, 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 in those places have, have, been, have been being improved, okay? Uh, do you see companies from there gaining really scale and coming to the international market and being present, let's say, do, do you see that happening? I see that happening in the future. Yeah. But I think we have to educate and train the young people back there to be able to do that. As you said, be, let's I, say let's empower uh, those who are coming with new, new tools. Yeah, totally. That, that that's that's the first step, I think. And after that, uh, well, I it's it's like the the bottom up, you know, uh, innovation. No, so it may be hard to because. Also for these companies, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to get there. Like the big ones, yeah, of course, you know, yeah. Facebook, YouTube, whatever. These are the big ones, big. But uh, the, 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 the medium-sized companies, uh, applications and all that, not quite there because it's, the, it's a different reality. No? Yeah. So it could be also, it could be that problem on the way back to, from what we're talking about. But I, 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 I truly believe that the, the bottom-up innovation to solve the problems that we are experiencing back there would for sure give up, uh, give some new ideas, and maybe reach the global markets. No, and and and, and that's how you have to think. No, oh, I have to do this idea because it has to reach a global market. That's that that should be your vision. You may not do it in the first year or the fifth year, maybe in the tenth year, but that should be your vision. Okay. Okay. Let's let's work to make to make that happen. All right, then. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> okay. Well, let's have some fun in doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Muchas gracias, Gonzalo. Gracias, Eduardo. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Pessoal, obrigado. Esse foi Gonzalo, é, gerente executivo da Waira no Peru. A gente conversou um pouquinho sobre empreendedorismo na América Latina. Acho que tem oportunidades aí interessantes para quem é do Brasil e também pensa lá na região nas oportunidades de mercado que tem tá legal obrigado até a próxima obrigado tchau 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 tchau